There are a whole bunch of things for you to do and find in Elden Ring, and chances are you may have missed a few things across your journey in the lands between. Here are some things you might have missed in Rhea Lucaria. Golden Seed. If you're at the main academy gate Grace, head northeast across the bridge. At the end of the bridge will be one of those sweet golden seeds for you to upgrade your flask with. Hidden Merchant. If you start at the same grace as before, the main academy gate, but head across the southeast path, you'll find a pretty well hidden merchant. Make your way past the wolves and you'll find the isolated merchant tucked between the shrubbery, which by the way, he does sell the fanged imp summon. Marionette Soldier Ashes. Starting at the Church of the Cuckoo Grace, head out of the archway on the left. Make your way down the path until you find this group of gravestones. Behind them is actually a path that follows the cliffside. Follow that path all the way down, sticking to the left the whole time until you jump over to the next path. Follow this path all the way up, defeating the enemies guarding this item and the marionette soldier ashes will be yours. Carrion Knight Armor Set. Starting from where you find the marionette soldier ashes, jump down and follow our steps exactly. You'll eventually find this spot that you can jump down to. Clear out the enemies and you'll be getting a shiny new set of armor to show off in the lands between. Gravity Well Sorcery. Close to where you find the Carrion Knight armor set, you'll want to find these double gates. Through the gates and up the stairs will be an enemy waiting for you. It's a tougher enemy than normal, but not quite boss level. Once defeated, you'll get the Gravity Well Sorcery as a reward, and there is also a somber Smithing Stone 3 on the structure behind the enemy. Olivenous Glintstone Crown Starting at the Schoolhouse Classroom Grace, head to the hallway and take a left. In the chest, there will be a Glintstone's Craftsman Cookbook 5. Behind where the scroll on the body is located is actually a hidden path. Just melee the wall to reveal it, no liar ahead on this one, then head off the balcony to the left and jump down. Proceed to follow the edge of the building around. Jump on these rocks and waiting for you on the ledge will be the Olivenous Glintstone Crown headpiece. Graven School Talisman Starting at the schoolhouse classroom grace again, but this time take a right at the hallway, then make your way to the top of the school. At the top of the stairs, there will be another hidden path on your left. Head through the path, collect the comet sorcery in the chest, and then find the ladder in the room. Head as far east as you can in the room and then jump over the railing and you'll find a spot where you can fall down. Once you've fallen down, search for another hole to fall down that leads into an awesome looking room with the Graven School Talisman sitting at the base of these crystals. This talisman raises the potency of your sorceries. Avianet Soldier Ashes Starting from the schoolhouse classroom grace yet again, head west and jump on the elevator heading down. Jump off this ledge, head to the left, and these ashes will be close by. Longtail Cat Talisman Hop back on the elevator you just got off of and head all the way down to the bottom. Watch out for the Iron Virgin waiting for you to ruin your day. Take out this enemy and you'll be able to pick up the talisman stress-free. This talisman will make your player immune to fall damage, but it can't prevent your player from falling to their death. Glintstone Wet Blade If you start at where the main courtyard for the school is, the one with the giant ball that rolls down the stairs, I think we all know the one, head to the very left of the courtyard. Head up the stairs and in a tiny room there will be a dead body hanging over a window. And on the body will be the Glintstone Wet Blade that will allow you to grant an additional affinity to your weapon of magic or frost. Glintstone Scarab One of the more unique looking armor pieces in the game, and for Elden Ring, that's definitely saying something. You want to head through the tunnel right by where you can find the Glintstone Wet Blade. You'll see a double gate and want to take a right before the gate and jump over the railing. You'll find a ladder and want to climb to the top. Defeat the enemies and inside the chest will be this Creepy yet awesome looking headpiece. Radagon Icon Talisman. After you defeat the Red Wolf of Radagon, you'll get the Debate Parlor Grace. From here, you'll head into the courtyard and take an immediate right. Jump over the railing and climb the ladder to the top. This will lead you to the upper level of the boss arena that you just fought in. In a chest will be the Radagon Icon, which shortens your spell casting time. 
full moon crossbow. From the courtyard, once again, you'll want to head left up the stairs. Don't go through the tunnel this time, but go left right in front of it and jump over the railing. This section can be extremely confusing, so we advise you to follow our path carefully across these rooftops. You'll eventually find this ladder at the end of the rooftops. Climb all the way to the top and in a chest will be the full moon crossbow. Azur's Glintstone Staff. Picking up where we left off from getting the crossbow, you'll want to once again follow our path very carefully. We'll eventually make it to this tower that you'll want to cautiously let me reiterate this again, cautiously make your way down. Once you reach the bottom, take a left and go up another ladder and follow us again across the rooftops. We'll eventually make it to this church where you'll want to jump through this window onto a rafter. Then you'll want to fall onto the chandelier and then down once more to the upper floors of the church. You'll then want to head to the most northeastern corner where you'll find a tunnel that leads to a room filled with crystals and Burger King masks. Here is where you'll find the Azure's Glintstone Staff. So there you have it, some things you might have missed inside Rhea Lucaria. If you ended up missing some of these things, make sure to let us know down in the comments what the first thing that you're gonna go get is. We hope you enjoyed, and if you did, consider liking and subscribing for future videos, and we'll see you in the next one.